Hi guys, welcome to our book club. Today it will be the second session of this book called The Vegetarian, which is also our second book of this 2023. And today we will continue discussing this first chapter whose name is also The Vegetarian. And pages will be from 25 to 81. So let's just begin. As I was commented to you, today we will continue this first chapter of this book called The Vegetarian. And uh, remember that in the previous chapter, we know the story of this girl that uh, is having these bloody um, dreams related to, you know, to meat. And also that is changing because um, he completely changed her diet. So the relationship with her husband, the relationship with everybody is like uh, becoming even a little bit more weird than in the past. And um, well, the, remember that also the book is, uh, is oh, the story is being told us by the husband and the husband's perspective about the main character whose name is Young Young Hee, is that uh, she's normal. You know, she has um, she has never been special, you know, like in any way. She cooks deliciously. He mentioned that. But right now that uh, she completely changed her diet, it's not the same anymore. And this chapter begins telling us also that the relationship as as a couple as husband as a wife change completely and he uh, he starts telling us that he never thought that it will happen the situation and this happening to him because she was you know like quite normal she was you know like um mm, well whatever you know she was normal so he never expected to suffer this kind of, uh, how can I explain it? You know, like this period of not having sex. So he, he, he explained that what night he says, like, it's enough. He arrived, he saw her and he forced her to, to have sex. And he felt that, that uh, he wasn't into that. But, and he excuses him by saying that, you know, he needed. It. It's just nature, you know. And also remember that in the previous chapter, they mentioned this family meeting. So the family meeting is very close. I don't know, like a week or some days. So he's not thinking like so much, but the, the chapter begins or continues just like that. And um, as well, you know, uh, John, he is having more, more dreams. And we know that these dreams are related to something that she is, you know, like keeping inside of her. Like, we don't know something that happened in the past, probably. Um, we will see, you know, like during the, the, the chapter, but she's having like super weird dreams. Some of them, you know, she is eating something or someone that she knows. In some others, she's in a place full of meat, you know, like in a butchery. Or, you know, like in these places where, you know, animals, bulls are killed. So you have the meat hanging from hooks. So she imagines and she describes these kind of places full of blood, the smell, the sensation. So... You know, her dreams are being vivid. And in one of those dreams, I don't remember if it is at the beginning or at the middle, but uh, she uh, has a dream where she has been beaten by a dog. And I think it's her dog. So as a way of punishing the dog, the dog says like, well, it is not necessary, you know, to just uh, hit the dog or, you know, to, to, to do something meaner. You know, I, I have heard something. So he just, you know, like ties the, the a, a row around the dog's head and to a motorcycle. And he started, you know, like giving laps. After some laps, the dog is dead. Why? Because he has been talking, you know, he's running, he's tied. 
Uh, it's describing like, you know, the dog, uh, is saliva is everywhere, it's tongue. So it is not a very easy uh, scene, but you know, she's having these kind of dreams and that is not the worst because the worst is when, um, I think it's um, young his mom or is the mom in the dream who says, uh, that there's a saying that says that uh, when a dog bites you in order to heal your body in order that nothing happens to you and also to have luck or something like that you have to eat that dog's meat so in this dream she says like oh yeah give me more and she ate it you know like happily so when she wakes up, she has this um, sensation and well you know like it is one of those dreams she's having were very weird and vivid dreams very dis um described dreams so well you know meanwhile she's having this kind of dreams you know her husband uh remember that this family meeting is very close so the day that happened you know finally um everybody arrives who is everybody so finally we know that uh john he's john he is the main character her husband is mr chong and then then john he has two brothers which uh will be just one second in he which is also married to a guy that i think they don't mention the name or i don't remember and a brother who is also married with a girl that they don't mention the name. So then the brother's name is um, Young Ho. So we have Jong Hee, In Hee, and Jong Ho. And those are the three, you know, siblings. And the mother-in-law and the father-in-law, which will be, you know, the uh, John Hee's mother and, you know, the rest, father as well. And those will be the characters in the scene. And we have these dinner, they have, you know, or they have brought a lot of uh, dishes and special things. They are just, you know, like set up the table. They are just about to eat or they just are eating. And they realize that she is not really eating meat. And they offer, I think, like some oysters, like, hey, those are your favorite. Don't you want them? And she said, like, I don't eat meat. Or I think that they probably don't, he doesn't say anything at the moment. I don't remember. So, uh, well, they are, you know, like eating, but they are, you know, like trying to convince her to eat as well. She says no, or is she just quiet? And I think that when at some point they just realized that everybody finished and she never touched uh, like anything. So her sister is like hey try it those are your favorite her her mom is like hey you should try it like they grab some piece of meat and it's like hey try it you know like my hand is is getting tired like do it you know like try it and she doesn't open her mouth so it derives a point we you know when they are doing like try it try it and you know junkie is like no uh that um the father you know john his father it is like enough. So he just, you know, like says like you and you grab her from, you know, her hands, her, her arms. So he grabs something and he's like, hey, eat it. So he just, you know, like really uh, force him, force her, forcing her to eat meat. And um, well, I think, you know, at that some point or something uh, uh, in the discussion in this scene that I'm describing you, um, her dad slapped her. So in that moment, um, John he is like super mad, and also you know like a lot of a lot of things are happening in her in her head that she grabs a knife. And well, in the in the family, obviously, you know, in he and in he has a a, a little son. And I think um, the other girl is pregnant. So, you know, like there are kids in the scene. And well, uh, John, he grabs the knife 
and it is describing that you know it's like hey what are you doing like it just meet and this so I think that she it reaches a point when she is just you know like listening to a lot of voices that she decided to open her 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 breast and well she's bleeding and it's describing you know this scene where uh blood is uh, not everywhere but you know it is it's a shocking you know those moments and the little kids and that everybody start crying and desperate so in that moment um in his um husband so the sister's husband grabs her and is like giving some direction like hey you give me towels like hey you know like the car hurry up so mr chunk that is the husband you know, it is describing the scene that I just grabbed the, the ground shoes. I just needed to change them, you know, like at the end. Uh, we just took her he here. That is like uh, the emergency hospital. And it is telling us that, you know, at the end, she is in a room, in a double bedroom. So she's with someone else. And uh, that, you know, uh, he is with his brother-in-law it will be so they are there they are not saying anything and at the end he's like well i need a moment alone so here you have some money like change your clothes because you know it was blood everywhere and he says like no i will just wait you know for my wife she will arrive soon but i will just give you a lump. so in that moment john mr chunk you know he's john his husband it is telling us that he feels super weird that like everything it's a dream you know and also he begins to to have these thoughts that he doesn't recognize her wife anymore and he doesn't want to be with her alone anymore you know like if right now she's doing that what will do when we are just alone so he is you know like fearing those moments and, you know, when they are in the hospital, when they are in the room, um, the sister arrived, the mother arrived, and, uh, well, they say that the father is, you know, like, upset. And, uh, well, in that moment, everybody is crying and this and that. But I think there's another scene when the, it's the mom, you know, they just, you know, like, left. The husband is there having weird thoughts. And um, I think at that night, he says like, okay, I don't know if she is breathing, you know, she's pale, she looks like she's super sick. So it arrived a point when he thought that she just, you know, was dead. So he just, you know, like do this and says, oh, okay, she's breathing. So she, uh, he continues sleeping. And the next day, or, you know, like a time later, the very first one who arrived is the mom. And he says, like, oh, we think is the mom. Well, I think, you know, like there are some circumstances that happened. I don't exactly know if it is that how, but, you know, that's the thing I remember. So the, the mom arrives with the soup and the soup, um, well, she says that it was base plant. Uh, but young he says, like, nope, it has meat. You know, it has meat on it. Mom lies to her and John he started, you know, like drinking it. Uh, as soon as the mom left the room, um, Mr. Chong was there, you know, her husband, but she went to the to the bathroom and she threw up everything. So the husband is describing that for her, I mean, she didn't care about him. And that uh, this kind of... Um, I don't know, like for being a couple, that was too much, you know? So he's describing the smell and everything and that at some point she wanted to do something and he said like, I won't help you. So she's doing it her by, by herself. And well, at the end he he helped her, but at the very end, you know, when you, she was bleeding, I think again. So the relationship between them, I think it's weird. And probably they don't uh, feel as a couple anymore because of the very, the scene that I described you at the very beginning. And also because of these, all these behavior that they have been uh, experiencing during, you know, 
the Mr. Chung's uh, meeting at the restaurant, and then here we joined his family. So, well, he's realizing like a lot of stuff, but in the process, he's having like super weird dreams and thoughts, sorry, and dreams too. So, and they are in the hospital and then John he's wake up she's not like saying too much the mom's arrived she gives her the soup she threw up and then this you know we have this scene when they are just alone at night or he does you know like having these thoughts that she's like really really crazy you know in a mental sense in a in a healthy in a health way sense too so he's having these dreams but remember that I told you that it was a two uh, bed um, bedroom, you know, like um, like space. So in the other room, there's a mom. I uh, know it's a daughter, the one who is in bed with the with the mom, uh, or by birth, I don't remember. And uh, they are discussing, or they are, you know, like very calm. They are just laughing. So he compares, you know, Mister Chung compares himself with with them and um well that night he overslept uh, when he wakes up the lady told him like hey you know when we woke up your your wife wasn't here so he's scared you know he's thinking like probably she committed suicide or something even worse or stuff like that so he's having uh, these thoughts while he's you know trying to look for her he is walking around, he is looking everywhere. And when he uh, went outside, he um, like went to the gardens or stuff like that. And he saw a lot of people gathering around someone. And instinctively he thought it's her. So he's getting close. And when he's getting close, he confirmed that it's, it's her, that she looks very, very sick. Uh, but that it was, it was, you know, like something even weirder about her. So that it wasn't just about her look. So when he just got closer, he realized that she had a little bird in her hands. And where her hands were like, just, you know, like this. So the little bird was that. Uh, when he asked her, like, what happened? Uh, she said like, oh yeah, I saw that the little bird needed help, so I helped it. And that's the end of the chapter. He says, you know, like, oh, it's okay. And he completely realized that she's crazy. That she's having, you know, like, she's sick. Well, not crazy in a, in a bad sense, but, you know, like, is something happening in her mind and she needed to be treated. So um, that is the end of the chapter called Vegetarian, the second one. I don't know if it is, you know, like the, the continuation of the story or is something else, let's see, but that's it. At the moment, a very interesting, you know, story, very full of bluff, but at the same time, it makes you think, you know, it makes you think that outside there are any, um, there's a lot of kind of people and you never know what, you know, it's happening inside their minds. For the moment, you know, let's just begin with the vocabulary. So um, give me a moment in order to connect the other screen. Hi, we are ready. So let's just begin. And this is the beginning of the chapter. You know, that's how the preview chapter ends. And we just start with this scene that I was describing you. That is uh, where Mr. Chunk describes that he never felt that he would be in that situation you know it says I sometimes told myself that I even thought the woman I was living with what with was a little off nothing particularly bad will come of it because you know she was normal and then it says here with this with the first word you know but it was not easy thing for a man in the prime of his life you know he he was very young um, for whom married life had always gone entirely without a hitch. Hitch is the very first word, and hitch means, you know, like a trouble, problem, you know, just, you know, a difficulty, difficult that. 
to have his physical needs go unsatisfied for such a long period of time. With this means sex, period. So yes, one night when I return home late and somewhat inirritate, inirritate, it's another way of saying drunk. So he will, you know, like, he was drunk. He drank a lot of beer. After a meal with colleagues, I grab hold of my wife and push her to the floor. And it's, you know, not very descriptive, but you know what happened. So let's continue. And in the same, uh, in the next page we have, after the first time, it was easier for me to do it again. But each time I would be seized by a strange of new premonitions. So he did it more than once. So remember that when the, the, the lady just got crazy, remember because of what? So we have C's. Remember that C's means a lot of things according to the, to the context, but in this case, poseído, we know, embargado, by a strange of news, premonitions of news, the malagüero, inquietantes. Premonitions, premonitions, you know. Uh, I was a uh, things king by nature and certainly wasn't in the habit of entertaining outlandish, uh, oh, sorry, outlandish notions, outlandish extravagantes. But the darkness and silence of the living room will strike a chill throughout of me the same. Oh, yeah, you know that he didn't believe in, in gods, not anything. And he arrives to his house and silence completely you know this kind of environment and we have uh here the following morning sitting with my wife at the breakfast whatever i may be saying i would be unable to conceal a feeling of abhorrence abhorrence means aborrecimiento when i look across at her i couldn't slide the way her expression which may it seems as though she were a woman of bitter experience who had suffered many hardship niggle at my conscience. So hardship, it will be dificultades, penurias, and niggle, quejarse. So you know, like a bad life. She looked like he mistreated her. That's it. And then it says, it was the evening three days before the family gathering. That day, the humidity in Seoul was the highest on record. And the air conditioner was blasting out in all the big shops. So blasting out, remember the blast, it just, you know, like, and in this case, blasting out, it is just, you know, like, soplando. Uh, after spending all day in office, I was starting to shiver. And so I returned home a little earlier than usual and opening the front door and catching sight of my wife. I stepped hastily, so hastily, apresuradamente, because it was hot. I stepped hastily inside and closed the door behind me. It was a corridor apartment and the last thing I needed was for me to pass by and peek in. So, you know, a lot of doors and he stepped in and closed it, you know, very quick because he know he didn't want anybody to, to, to do this. Like, what? Let's peek in. And, and, you know, she was sitting leaning against the decorative television cabinet, peeling potatoes, wearing with white cotton trousers, but with her upper and, you know, the scene. Um, and um, she was, you know, like peeling potatoes, but it's like in a short or like in a dress or something like that. So it says, um, why you have, oh, he didn't have this, yeah. He was in, she was uh, uh, Birches. Remember that also she is losing like a lot of weight. So she, her breast is, is like nothing. So it was hot. So she was close to the window, we you know, like Birches. So it says, uh, because it's hot, she answered. And then it says, I greeted my teeth. So greeted, it would be, you know, he, he, like, like doing this. Uh, look at me, I will her. Will is voluntad, but in this case, it's like I I asked her, I demanded her, like, do it, you know? Um, but, it, but without saying the words aloud, so that's why it says here, will, because it is like, look at me, like, trying to convince it in a different tone of voice. And then it says to the potato peeling, we're peeled up in heaps. Oh, yeah, because she's peeling potatoes. So it's, you know, pilas, 
montones. It's being like this, montones de, 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 de cáscara de papa. Then it says 30 odd remaining potatoes from a small month. Month, it will be monticulo. What are you planning to do with them? You know, with all these potatoes. I asked affecting, uh, affecting perfect composter. Oh yeah, because he's trying to keep calm. And it says, I laugh falteringly. Falteringly, vacilante, titubeante. Remember that he doesn't know how to measure waters in this case. He is, first of all, forcing her. And uh, she is behaving like weirder every time. So she doesn't know, he doesn't know how to behave in front of her. And then, you know, uh, it says that the scene just finishes by saying like, oh, well, I was hungry. That's it. And here is describing us a dream. Remember that when we have a change of the font, it's just because it is describing a dream. So it says, dreams of my hands around someone throw, throwing, throwing, throwing. So throwing, it will be this. Throwing, you know, like choking someone. Ahorcando. Estrangulando. And then we have sal saliva pulling in my mouth. So pulling, it will be agruparse. Acumularse, you know, like a lot of saliva in your mouth. And what is he, what is his dream about? What? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is. It is describing, you know, like like some some weird dreams, but it has to be, you know, like for example, this. It will be the eyeball, you know, like the eyeball, slippery eyeball, you know, like the eyeball is slippery, so it's touching. It's the smell. It is like the color. So yeah, it is describing. Saliva pulling in my mouth, it is, you know, acumularse. Remember that is, you know, like being chalk. And the butcher shop. And I have to clamp my hand over my mouth. So clamp, it will be sujetar. In other contexts, it will be amordazar, una pinza. So, you know, she's describing that in this case, she is, you know, like something or someone is choking or she, she choking something. Or someone or something like that and it says like she's trying you know to to move it then along the length of my tongue to my lips lick with saliva licking out between my lips trickling down oh yeah because you know she's been here a lot of saliva in her mouth and you know the word trickling it will be just you know like goteando so you know like the saliva you know it is like coming here and when it arrives here it just like boom boom so this action of, you know, like gotear, it will be trickling down. So trickling, just, you know, like trickle. And then you have it. And we don't have vocabulary here. Until it says the dark front rattles. So rattles, it will be traquetear, so no. Now and then, but no one comes to knock on the door or anything like that. By the time I came, I come back to bed and put my hand under the quilt, that it will be, you know, like the blanket, all the warm is gone. Well, I don't remember exactly this dream in particular, but you know, it's with blood, it's, you know, the smell. So in this case, oh yeah, because she is having weird dreams, she cannot sleep more than five minutes in a row. So here it says sleeping in five minutes snatches. Snatches, it will be like the lapsus, you know, los pedazos. Sleeping out of fussy con consciousness, it's back. So fussy, fussy borroso. So it says sleeping out, deslizándose hacia donde, hacia afuera, of fussy consciousness, it's back, the dream. And can't even call it now. Oh, because you know it says animals eye gleaming wild, princess of blood, unearth uh skull against those eyes, rising up the pit of my stomach, shuddering awake, my hands need to see my hands, breathe, 
Uh, my fingers nail still soft, my teeth still gentle. So, you know, this kind of blush she's having them every time she closes her eyes. So she cannot sleep more than five minutes because if she sleeps more than five minutes, now she's having these dreams. And well, so because of this, her body is suffering a lot of changes, a lot. But anyways, so here it says, why are my edges all sh sharpening? Oh, because, oh yeah. So in this case, guys, this is the, the this is the this is the dream, you know, the the one that says that he's shocking and the saliva and moreover. And then here is sleeping in five minutes. It's not a dream, it's John His. It's John His voice is telling us, you know, what is happening in, in her in her head. So here it's just telling us that having those dreams and also she is feeling something in her in her chest. She doesn't know how to describe it, but it is a sensation that is inside of her and she doesn't know how to, to, to get rid of it. So, and here, you know, it says what I am going to gush uh, because it is her voice and he she looks at her at the mirror or something. And it says, why are my edges all sharpening? Edges, you know, it will be this part, you know, the edges of your face. And sharpening or sharp, in this case, it would be like picudos, you know, so pronunciados. Um, it says, why am I, what I am going to gosh? Gosh, it will be excavar. Or, you know, como, in this case, it will be como voy a terminar or, you know, like what happened with the meat? So it says, here again is a is a it's John his husband. So the sun is out facing apartment was on the 17th floor. So they were you know in the 17th floor. And it says, now you have forgotten all your worries. My father-in-law pronounced taking up his spoon and chopstick completely cease. So completely cease, remember embargado. Completely cease the moment. Uh, so finally, the the meeting is you know happening, and it says that they are in the seventeenth floor. It's you know like an apartment with a nice view. So that's it. And here is presenting us you know the sister before she got married. My sister in law, you no know, sister in law. It is you know John his uh, sister. So the sister's name is in he in he or something like that. Then we have, you know, uh, the name of in his, in his uh, son, you know, the name of his son is Jihu or Jiwu. And well, it is describing that she has uh, a son, but also she has, you know, like a business and before, she had uh, her business or she got married. She had, you know, like a different experience talking about money and status and stuff like that. So, well, it is describing, you know, one of the characters. Mm, then we have seeing the lunch table she had swiftly set made me feel a sudden pang of hunger. So swiftly, it will be rapidamente and pang, it will be, you know, like, well, not you know, not la punch, but una punzada. So it is like suddenly he was hungry, and then it says taking in her nicely filled out figure, big double lighted eyes. So big double lighted. Remember that Asian people, they don't have, or you know, like the 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 lid that we have here, they don't have it. So in this case. He is describing that she had double eyed, so he she had like kind of two or something, you know. So that's it. Lighted because it's the lead, you know. This is the lead eye, the parpado. And it says, and the mere manner of speaking, I certainly regretted the, the many things it seems I ended up losing somehow or well over. And it says in my current plague. So plague will be difficult situation. Oh, because you know. Um, he kind of no, he doesn't have feelings for her sister-in-law, but he kind of regretted being with her wife instead of uh with something or someone, you know, like her. So that's it. Then we continue, and then it says her, oh yeah. Then those were the only things, oh yeah, because finally here it is like they they 
they set up the table, they were eating, and it says, those were the only things she touched. Mayonnaise contained egg. So that was another thing of the, out of the menu. For her, she didn't decide so much as stick her chopsticks into the mouth-watering salad. Her face was blanched, a result of a protract insomnia. So blanche, blanche, is, it depends, you know, the minute. Because remember that, you know, uh, Blanche, it is a escaldar when you, you know, like eat a lot of pineapple. But in this case, they are talking about, you know, white. As it was, I guess, you know, like a little bit related to bleach, probably. But Blanche, in this case, pale. As a result as of pro protracted. So protracted, it will be prolongado. Because remember that she cannot sleep more than five minutes. And, uh, well, it is a little earlier, pretty much as soon as we both come in through the front do door, she's being summoned to the master bedroom. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they are eating right now. But as soon as they arrive, they say like, oh, come. So she was summoned. She, she was, you know, convocada to the master bedroom, to her room or to the, to the, I don't remember whose house is this one. But you know she was um, summoned to the bedroom to the to the master so the big one, and then it says, and judging from her baffled expression, I guess that my wife had come out without a bra. Oh, okay, probably it is not their house; it is someone else's house. So when they saw her, it's like, you know, that's baffled and baffled desconcertado expression because you know she she wasn't wearing a bra then it says i could see her light brown nipples showing through like smudge on the cotton so smudge manchas because remember she's white and her nipples are not white so that's it and then it says here while our polite amiable conversation carry on on a on in intermittent bores. So bores, it will be rapagas, arrebatos. Oh, one second. So we were saying that um, in this case, bores, it will be rapagas, arrebatos, because you know, it's a well, our polite, amiable conversation carried on intermittent boards. So it was like chatting, eating, chatting. So they weren't following on a conversation. It says the children seem unable to sit still, hitting each other and making an almighty racket. So almighty, todo poderoso. No almighty, que todo lo puede. And a racket, it would be un alboroto, un jaleo. So, so they were, you know, like being very noisy, pausing only to stuff their mouths with food. So they were, you know, like chatting, very, very noisy. And the only moment they were just, you know, like quiet is when they have food in their mouths. Sister-in-law, I asked, did you prepare all this food yourself? It is, you know, uh, Mr. Chung asking in here. And it says, well, I have been doing it by little by little since the day before yesterday. So, you know, like two days or three days cooking. Oh, no. And uh, and it says, and those, the seasoned oysters, you know, who's um, that, you know, those oysters were John, his favorite ones. And it says, I, I just bought those. And in this case, um, oh, yeah, it says, but I just bought those. And she, you know. It says she can't even touch them. So in that moment, you know, the father, so remember that Mr. Chuck is describing the scene. That's why it says father-in-law. But it's like, enough. And uh, this, this outburst, remember that burst, it is an arrapaga. So in this case, outburst, it will be arrebato. Well, this outburst was followed by in his roundly revoking my wife. Revoking, it will be reprimenda. And that says, do you really, you know, like truly intend to go on, on like, I'm sorry, do you truly intend to go on like this? And it says, you know, like we, we need meat, uh, to know it is necessary. So it says, so far, my wife's brother, Yon Ho, 
Oh, they mentioned the name. So remember that the brother's name it is John Ho, and this is uh the wife. So it says, oh, so far my wife's brother John Ho was keeping his old counsel, so his wife decided to have her say instead. Oh yeah. Well, here, you know, her own counsel, you know, consejo, her own opinion. So they were, you know, like everybody in that, but they were just, you know, like quiet. It says, this husband, this whole vegetarian business stops right now, she said. This one and this and this, hurry up and eat them. How could you have got into this wretch state at the end, you know, like we have a wretch. So wretch, it would be miserable. Uh, because you know the pro the deplorable because remember that she looks like she's sick you know she has lost a lot of weight remember that you know you can see the oh well the edges of her face you know her cheeks her 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 breast so um, uh, in this case I think it is the mom that they are like just eat it in this case it says here the children were staring white at my wife uh she turned her blank gaze on her family as she couldn't fathom fathom it would be like entender like why they are being like this with me the reason for all this so then fuss fuss alboroto remember that we saw it before so it says a strained silence and soothe so strain means different kind of things but in this case it's Se, se, se puso ahí, se tensó, you know, like, uh, se estableció, se coló. And ensured, it is like seguro, because, you know, like ensure, se aseguró. So it was there, a strange silence. Uh, I survey in turn my father in law's swarthy cheeks. So it says, like, remember there is Mr. Chunk, and Mr. Chunk, it is just seeing the, the scene that everybody's trying to convince um, his wife to eat meat. So when they're silent, he's just doing like this, you know, like survey, surveying, it says here. And it says his father-in-law, so John, his father, you know, with his cheeks. And talking about his cheeks, it says swarty, swarty morenas, you know, like obscuras. And then it says... Mm, her husband has affected attitude of being no more than a casual bystander. Oh, yeah, because, you know, one of the characters is uh, the sister's uh, husband, who is just there. He's not saying anything. So it says here, her husband affected attitude of being no more than a casual bystander. Bystander, it will be observador, you know, alguien que pasa. Um, then we continue and we have just one second oh, yeah observador transcente yeah then we have she made to all those glaring faces uh, was to set the pair of chopsticks she had um, let me, what, what happened here I expected my oh uh, yeah so this is you know Yonhee I expected my wife to say something in her own defense, but the sole silent answer she made to all those glaring faces was to set the pair of chopsticks she had picked up back down on the table. Uh, she picked up back down to the table. So here it's just describing that the wife, you know, like, why do you go eat like this? Silence. The only answer was to do this, you know, glaring faces, you know, observadores, you know, evidente, llamativo, like everybody's looking at her. And she was just, you know, like doing this, putting down, you know, the chopsticks. Those are the chopsticks, los palillos. And, you know, like putting down. That's it. A small flurry of unis ran through the assembled family. So flurry, it will be oleada, ráfago, unis, incomodidad, like... Um, and ran, you know, like everybody had the same sensation. Then it says, this time my mother-in-law picked up some sweet and sour pork, sweet, dulce, sour, um, agrio, acido, uh, pork with her chopsticks and thrust it right up in front of my wife's mouth. 
So trust in it will be empujar in this case, you know, like eat it, eat it. Remember that it is like the scene is like this, you know, they have something, it's like eat it, eat it. So trust it will be empujar. And then it says, yes, I remember that too. Uh, and he came in. So Kim in is repicar. Remember that also a bell can Kim. So Kim. And uh, then we have, as the chopsticks holding the dress oyster gradually near my wife's averted mouth. So averted, in this case, it will be this. Desviado, you know? She doesn't want to eat. They are trying to, to give her different kind of um, meat or different kind of dishes. So she's like, I don't want to. So averted, it is desviado. Then it says, my heart will pack in if this goes any longer. My father-in-law shouted, you know, and Yon He, Yon He is the name or her name. That's the spelling. And in this case, it says, my heart will pack in. Pack in, it is, you know, like put everything in a house, in a, in a box and packing in. So it could be embalar, it could be empaquetar, it could be guardar. And in this sense, it's like, you know, I will just die. My heart will pack in. So, you know, we'll say like, that's it, stop. And it's an expression. So it, it says, don't you understand what your father is telling you? If he tells you to eat, you eat. So that's, you know, John, his father. And her answer is, I expected an answer from my wife along the lines of, I'm sorry, father, but I'm just can eat it. You know, I, I just can eat it. But all she said it was, I don't eat meat. Clearly enunciated and seemingly not at least bit apologetic. So it's just like, I don't eat it. Then it says, uh, my mother-in-law gathered up the chopsticks with an attitude of despair. Like, <gasps> that's it. Her old woman's face seemed on the brink of crumbling. Brink al borde. Crumbling. Uh, it says, uh, crumbling into tears, you know, like deshacerse, arrugarse, you know, romperse, uh, into tears. So she was just about to cry. That tears, uh, tears that would explode from her eyes and then course down her wrinkled cheeks. Uh, wrinkled, remember, you know, arrugado cheeks, those are your cheeks in silence. My father-in-law took a pair of chopsticks, he used them to pick up a piece of sweet and sour pork and stood tall. And stood tall in front of my wife, who turned away. So everybody was, you know, like trying to 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 give her meat. At the end, she's the only answer, you know, because she was just like everybody was just like, I don't eat meat. And now is her father, you know, he took a piece of uh, sour or sweet sour uh, pork, and it says uh, like eat it. So that is the situation. It says, in an instance, his flat palm cleaved the empty space. So in this case, you know, like he tried to do it. He said, like, I don't need meat. And in 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 an answer, you know, like, bam, her father is slapped her. So, you know, it says his flat palm, this is your palm, his flat is flat, you know, like plana, cleave the empty space. So this is cleave, like, bam, you know, the, this action. Is clamp so clamp it will be oh no sorry cliff it will be surcar dividir descomponer you know because surcar the empty space so the air and then it says father in he cry and this this scene Mr Chung John Ho oh yeah this is the father still Mr Chung John Ho so you know the the husband and the brother like the two of you come here. And the husband is like, oh, okay. So they said, like, they grabbed her. It says, I approached my wife hesitantly. He hit her so hard that the blood showed through the skin of her cheek. Oh, yeah, she's bleeding. So it says her breathing was a rage. So rage, it will be uh, desigual. So, you know, like something like that. It, and it seems that her composure, her composure, has finally been shattered, shattered, destruida, rota, destrozada, you know, resquebrajada. Take hold of John He's arm, both of you. 
So, you know, uh, the the father is telling the husband and the, the, the brother, like, grab her like this. So they do it, but it says, if she eat it once, she will do it again. So it says, it's preposterous, and preposterous means absurdo, irracional, insensato, because no, they don't believe that she doesn't eat it anymore. So they are trying to force her, you know, like trying, you know, the father is like, with her, we John he's like this he's like eat it eat it so it is describing this and everybody's like hey just do it you know just eat it like this just a little piece do do it so it says that uh here it says father I beg you stop this and he entreated so entreated it would be rogar you know like everybody's yelling just imagine the situation you know two people grabbing one woman you know another uh, old guy trying, you know, to convince her to eat meat. The the mom and the the sister just crying, and then we have the sister in law. Then we have the brother in law, and the two kids, and they are like, what? So that this thing is happening. And well, in this case, it is describing that. Uh, well, it says father. So in he sprang at him and held him by the waist. Mm, let me describe my from mash the pork. Oh yeah, because you know, remember that this is the scene. Oh yeah, yeah. For a moment I just got lost. So remember that this is the scene. So he's trying, you know, to, to convince her to eat the meat, but she's like this, you know, like and she doesn't want, she's moving. So in the river time when you know um her father is super upset. And she just like, like, oh, you know, you will eat. So it says in this scene, the sister just ran and grabbed him by the, the, the wrist. So sprang, sprang in this case, it will be salto, brinco, you know, like grab him by the way, sorry. The wrist is muñeca way. So by the way, it's like, hey, hold, you know, like take it easy. And then it says, as soon as the strain on John Ho's arms was visible, exhausted. So remember that she is just like this her husband and her brother. So when his father was about to hit her, the sister just grabbed, you know, the father. So her her brother just, you know, like was like releasing a little bit um, the grab. And it says, my wife growled and spat out of the meat. So growled is like, gruñó and uh, escupió la carne. Ah, you know, so you know he, he eat it and spat escupio so um, it says here an animal cry of distress burst from her from her lips get away at first she drew up her shoulders and seemed about to flee in the direction of the front door but then she turned back and picked up the front knife that had been lying on the dining room so it seems that you know at the end in this scene you know she finally uh opened ah yeah because she opened uh, her mouth a little bit and her father like um take advantage or took advantage of that moment he put meat and he was about like oh, that's everything or like eat it or something like that so the sister just grabbed her grabbed him sorry and in that moment the brother releases so she like spout out the meat and he's like, it's enough, but she yells. So it says that, you know, she releases her and it seems that she was just about to run away. But instead of doing that, she just grabbed the knife. It was um, in front of her, you know, the, the, the knife they were using for the fruit. So it is just describing this scene and it says, at first she drew up so drew up, it will be uh, her shoulders. Oh, she do this. No, in order to release her like this or like this or something, but she did this. This is describing the, 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 the action. Drew up is this. Um, so then it says the children burst into noisy sobbing. Sobbing, remember that is uh, like your act. Uh, unable to suppress it any longer. Suppress, suprimir. Uh, Joe clunch, clunch, remember that this is it. So Joe, this is the dorso. They are doing this because they, I mean, it's very tense. So Joe clunch, it will be 
de, de mandíbulas apretadas. So, what else? Why brandish the knife? So, your clench her intent stare facing each other of us down in torment. and why brandish the knife? Oh, yeah. So, the scene is this. We have finally, you know, like, John here with a knife. And then uh, we have everybody in front of her and she's just looking at everybody. And then, bam. So it says, stop her, stay back, and there's blood ribbon out of her grace. Ribbon, ribbon is a liston. So here it is, you know, like describing, not poetically, but, you know, giving some drama. So ribbon, she will be like girando, adornando, you know, like encintando, like a ribbon. So ribbon out of the grease, bluff, um, and says the shock of red splash over white China. So white China, China, we know that is the country, but in this context, China, it will be the dishes, it will be, you know, the bowls and everything you have in your table. So the tableware, la vajilla. Porcelana, that it will be the porcelana. And then we have as her knees buckle as she crumbled to the door. So buckle, buckle, it is um well, you know, like she she just you know like going on into her knees or onto her knees, sorry, because you know she's just like Psh. so this is describing this. As her knees buckled, se doblaron, she crumbled to the door to, to the floor. So the knife was rested from her. So bam, you know, like uh, arrancado. And buckle torcieron, so crumbled, se, you know, like like empezó a torcer a bolita. And rested from her wrist, or is like, give it to me. So here is the, the brother-in-law, so the sister's uh, husband. It says, what are you doing? Somebody fetch a towel. Fetch. Fetch it is like, look for it. Like, give it to me. You know, like, vayan a buscar. So fetch it is buscar, alcanzar, traer. Oh, well, uh, uh, yeah, traer. So every inch the special forces graduate uh, because he was kind of a nurse or something. I grab off for my shoes. So grab, in this case, it is, you know, like he was grabbing whatever. And then he realizes it was wrong. So it is where he changed his shoes. And this is the dream she's having while, you know, everybody's running to the hospital. This is the dream John Hiss has. And it's about the dog. So. So it says, the dog sank its teeth into my leg. It chained up to the father's motorcycle. With his cinch tail bandaged to my cough a wound. So cinch, cinch will be quemado, chamuscado. So let's see the image. The image is that there's a dog who bite her. So it says that sank its teeth. Sank, undio, its teeth into my leg. So it's chain up, chain, cadena, so chain up, encadenado to father's motorcycle. With its cinch tail, you know, the dog, it has a tail and the tail is cinch, chamuscada. Bandage to my calf wound. So the, uh, the bandage, you know, la venda, to my calf wound, it is calf, it would be the calf, la pantorrilla, and wound herida. A traditional rem remedy my mother insisted on. I go out and stand at the main gate. Okay, so you know, this is the scene. She is, because of her mother, she is outside and she's describing that she is, or she has a bandage around her calf and the dog who by her, it's around um, a motorcycle. It is chained up. So, it says here, I was nine years old. So, oh yeah, stifling. Stifling means asfixiante because it says the heat. So it was very hot. Uh, and the summer, oh yeah, he was sitting asfixiante. The sun was gone down and still the sweat is running off me. So she was continuing sweating. Uh, the dog too is panting. Panting is like, that's panting, you know? 
It's red tongue, long link. Red tongue, red tongue. But long link, it is like, you know, like saliendo, saliéndose de fuera, colgando. And a white, handsome looking dog, bigger even than me. So it was a nice dog, big white dog. And then it says, well, father ties the dog to the tree and scorches it with the lamb. He says, it's not, it is not to be flogged. So I imagine here the scene that as soon as the accident happened, the dog was, you know, like tied up in a tree. It says the dog and it scorches. So scorches, it would be quemar, abrazar, chamuscar. So it wasn't necessary to punish or to kill the dog in, a, in this way, you know? To, to encenderlo, so no. It says, with the lamp, he says, it is isn't to be flock, so flock, vendido, azotado. So like, it was not necessary to do that. He had an idea. He says he heard some word that driving a dog to keep running until the point if that is considered a milder punishment. So mild, it would be ligero. No, so either way, it will be a punishment. I think I, I I didn't like this thing, guys, to be honest. So it says here that the motorcycle engine stores and the store giving, you know, the laps. And it says, once has gone five laps, the dog frothing at the mouth. So frothing, froth, it will be la espuma. So in this case, it won't be foam. It will be froth. So frothing, espuma, espumando. Blood drips from its throat, so you know, like gotas, sangre everywhere, which is being chalked with the rope, constantly groaning through its damaged throat. So, groaning is still, you know, the dog is alive, so it is quejando, uh, llorando, you know. Uh, at six laps, so remember that this is a lap, so at six laps, the dog vomits blackish red blush. So, the dog vomit, you know, bluff, blackish red. So it was black and red, blackish, negruzca, roja, negruzca, you know, like something like that. There's a name, but I don't remember. And then it says trickling from its mouth and open throat. So trickling again, oh, it is goteante. Remember we saw it, you know, like trickling with the saliva too. Um, mm, then it says as blood and froth mixed together, Remember frothing at the mouth, spuma. So here, espumando, frothing, and then here, froth, espuma. I stand stiffly. So stiffly, rigidamente, stiff. Yes, so stiffly, upright, and set up those two glittering eyes. So, you know, brillosos, wives, probably tears, probably whatever. So it says seven laps. And while waiting for the dog to come into view, father looks behind and sees what is in fact dangling limply from the motorcycle. So dangling, dangling, it will be colgando limply sin fuerzas. So at seven lap, it says, um, the, the father, you know, who was in the motorcycle, so by the mirror that he was just, you know, like dragging the dog. He wasn't running anymore. So it says, that uh, dangling limply from, or I look at the dogs for judging legs. So judging in this case, vibrantes, temblores. So yeah, well, the dog was, instead of running, it was just, you know, like no more, no more. So he it says here that his, his father, I'm sorry, the father saw in the dog's, in the dog's eyes that, you know, he was just about to die of exhaust, uh, exhaustion. Then it says, the saying, oh yeah, the thing I, I told you about it, it says, the saying goes that for a wound caused by a dog bite, to heal you have to eat the same dog. And I did scoop up a mouthful for myself. So this is a saying, so in her dream, I don't know in real life, she's like, scoop, this is it. This is a scoop. You know, like, una porción, una cucharada. So, you know, she was eating dog. And then, uh, then it says, oh yeah, it's describing the, the, the meat. It says the smell of born flesh, born flesh, flesh, it would be, you know, like carne, born quemada, which the perilla seed, perilla seed, it is just a seed. Couldn't holy mass, 
prickle my nose. So in this case, it is like not even this uh, condiment like could hide the smell of burn flesh, carne quemada. So prickle, it is like the smell prickle my nose, you know, like tickles, you know, me piquetea, cosquillea, you know, it is doing something in my nose. So that is prick. And um, then we have, you know, like again, remember that was just a dream. Then it says the woman stay behind the house in order to calm the children. Oh yeah, everybody's behind, just, you know, the husband and the, the brother-in-law. It says, I took my wife to the casualty department of a nearby hospital. So casualty department, casualty, it is also victim, but it could be like emergency uh, because emergency, you know? So it says, my wife fell asleep with a navy needle. So I guess, you know, it would be a sweater for us. And then here it says, Young Ho and his wife show up that evening with In He. Apparently, my father in love still haven't come down. Their mother kept stubbornly insisting on coming to the hospital, but Yo Ho, the brother, was adamant that she was sent to go anywhere near the place. So adamant, adamant, it will be firme, inflexible. So you know it's it's describing that everybody arrived to see. You. You know, how was uh, John He? So there is no vocabulary in this page until here, it says. Uh, well, let's just see what is this in about. Well, it says, while in He was examined, examined, examined my wife, I changed into her husband's t-shirt, sorry, t-shirt. And went to the sauna upstairs. Oh, in the hospital, there's a sauna. I washed off the black conge con con congealed blood under the shower, log warm, log warm tibia stream of water. I look at myself in the mirror, frowning. Frowning is this, remember? This, this is frowning. Frowning. And it says, the whole affair made my flesh crawl. So flesh, fleshy will be carne, and crawl, crawl, it will be uh, like, well, crawl is got there, but I think in this case, it will be like in cocerse, like, you know, doing this position. It says, it is. it just didn't seem real. Thinking about my wife didn't cause me shock of confession so much as an intense feeling of disgust. So, you know, remember that he's having weird thoughts also. Uh, for example, here also it says, um, uh, it says, they cup of darting sideways, glancing at, my, at me while I stood to watch on my wife's bedside. And I couldn't see perfectly well that they were whispering together. But many, but any minute now, this long Sunday will be over and, and Monday will begin which meant I will no longer have to look at this woman. I expected that John Ho will take my place and that day the, and the day after tomorrow, my wife would be discharged. Discharged, in other words, I would once, I was sorry, I would once again have to live with this strange frightening woman, the two of us in the same house. It was a prospect I found difficult to contemplate. So, you know, here he's telling us, like, it's weird, good thing, like, today and tomorrow I won't be with her, but what about the day after tomorrow? Like, you know, this frightening woman, you know, escalofriante, aterrorizante, so he's scared of her. And what we have here, at nine o'clock the next evening, I visited the ward. The ward, it is el pasillo, el pabellón. So, uh, Yon Ho, remember, it's a brother, greeted me with a smile. You must be tired. How are the children? And it says, G was that staying with them today? So, G was that. So, they, they, the other, you know, the brother in law. And well, here it says, like, oh, I just needed to do this, this, and that. It says, but it was Monday. So, there was no chance of any such reprieve. Reprieve aplazamiento. So how's my wife been? She just been sleeping, okay? Then we have here, 
I put a lot of medicinal stuff. Oh, this is the thing what I told you about the, the soup. Uh, let's see what it says. Mm. Well, here it says, I was afraid that in he and her husband found, uh, found out they may try and stop me from coming. Try fitting into John He just tell her it's herbal medicine. I put a lot of medicinal stuff into uh, into Maz's smell. She's become such a scrawny thing. So scrawny, scrawny, it will be uh, raquitico, squalido. You know, she's very thin. And uh, just it goes, and now what without losing all that bluff? Oh, because it's the mother telling like, oh, you know, I asked them to do it, but I just, you know, like put a lot of herbs like drink it because you look bad you know you are pale you look rakitic so scrawny and then it says um there's no stuff stop top so stop top it could be like cocina area de cocina you know la estufa the place where you know you can't uh heat or reheat something repeatedly weaving my tie around my hands and clenching it into a bowl so winding, you know, wind it is dar cuerda, so retorcer. So it is talking about the tie, remember the tie. So he is doing like this, doing like this, clench into a ball. So, you know, like a pretujarda, this. So he would just, you know, like playing with his tie while the mom is trying to convince the girl to drinking. I remember that he is just arriving from job. And... um. Well, here it says, my mother-in-law came back and it was the first thing my wife's eye fixed on. The older woman's face was written in smiles from the moment she opened the door. So written, it will be envuelta. Uh, she'd spent all day laying in bed and now whether because of the drip or simply due to swelling, swelling, inflammation, inchazón, inchazón her face was practically bloodless, almost as, as white as paper. So remember, she looks bad. You know, the mom, it's okay, but the, she's smiling, but the girl, the, the girl looks bad. So here we don't have vocabulary. Oh, I'm, 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 being, I'm confusing you guys, yeah. Because here they are just talking. They are just talking. And you know, it is the mom talking with with the the husband or you know with the family saying that she will make a a soup and she will put you know some plants in order to to hide the smell. So in the next scene, she prepared it and she arrived to the hospital. That's why it says that the very first person who saw her. Oh, who saw John, he was her mother. So that was okay. So that is the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so here it says, my mother-in-law came back and was the, the first thing my wife's eye fixed on. The other woman's wa face was written in smiles and vuelta. And then remember that the girl was, you know, like super pale. So here it says, that's the scene. It's just like, take it. No, I don't want it. Like it has really plans. So drink it. All right. It's my, my wish. So it says, at the same time, the old woman kept up pestering me to go and find a shop. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, she drank it. All of it. And then he said, do you want something to drink? Do you want a sweet? Do you want a candy? What do you want? And she's like looking at the husband, like go for something, like go for something. So here is describing that. At the same time, the old woman kept up pestering. So pestering, it will be molestando, fastidiando. Me to go and find a shop. I refuse to be hurried into going. So her, it will be acosado, hostigado. Like, you know, I don't want to go. And uh, finally, you know, at the end, the mom says like, she just, you know, like left the room. And here is the scene where, you know, it says, where are you going? The bathroom. I pick up the back and follow follow her. Oh, the back is just, you know, like the sweater. So she hung the back up inside the toilet and locked the door. So give it to me. 
and oh yeah, because it is just a bag. So it do this and keep the dog. And it says she staggered out of the toilet, trailing the faint smell. Oh yeah, because it says and then accompanied by several grounds, vomit up everything in her stomach. So like uh, uh, those are the grounds and vomit, vomit. She stagger, so stagger it is like you know tambaleándose. She staggered out of the toilet, trailing the faint smell, dejando rastro, you know, because the faint smell, the no ligero uh, olor gastrico, or the jugos gastrico, so that she vomit. And um, then, you know, we have here the sour tank. Oh, yeah, the tank, el fuerte sabor. So it was the faint smell of gastric dresses and the sour tank of semi-digested food. So, you know, this particular smell of vomit. That's it. Um, vocabulary. Oh, yeah, you know, you, she just got out of the bathroom with the bag. And he just like, I won't help you. You don't want my help. I don't want to help you. So he's like, okay. She just like, I will just go with the bag. And um, there is no vocabulary here. No, I think no. But it is just that scene. You know, she returned to bed and they, they stayed there. And it says, John He. Do you know how much it is worth? Would you throw it away? Money is crap. Uh, blood, can you call yourself my daughter? The moment I saw my wife bent at the waist, I noticed her red ball trickling backward. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I think, like, you no. Know, when she just got out of the bathroom, she just left the room in order to buy something, and the, and the husband is just like, whatever, I will just be here in the room. And when when he wake up, she is just, you know, like sitting down on the bed, eating some cookies. And the back, you know, the suero, and he's like in the in the floor or, you know, like in not a night position. That's why the mom says like, this is very expensive. Like, what are you thinking about? Both of you. And, um, you know, when he realizes he's just seen, I notice her red blood trickling backward. Trickling, remember, goteando. So in this case, it will be like backward. So there, there, uh, there was blood inside of the the back el suero. So finally, her high pitch screech, screeching, screeching. It is an onomatopoeia for these uh, sonidos very agudos, like and that kind. So finally, high pitch screeching subside into love sobs because probably she was screaming or she was crying, and then into love sobs like. Okay. And oh yeah, because it's look at yourself. So it's a mom having this crisis. And there's another um dream here. Yells and howls thread that together, layer upon layer. So thread that tiris enroscados, ensartados are emerge for that lump. Emerge, it will be uh enmarañado, enmarañado, en mesh. From that lump, lump is, you know, like a noodle. And then it says, because of meat, I ate too much meat. The leaves, the lives of the animals I ate have all lodged there, blood and flesh. Oh yeah, because I, I don't know if you remember, I told you that she's feeling something inside of her. So this lump, el bulto, you know, el nudo, uh, is because of the animals she ate. So it says blood and flesh, all those butcher bodies, butcher, you know, like, and are scattered in every nook and cranny. And so the physical romance works created. So here will be scattered, dispersos, repartidos, nook, rincon, and nook, rincon, and cranny grieta. So it says blood and flesh, all those butcher bodies are everywhere, you know, everywhere, in every corner. And in every cranny, in every, you know, like open in the, in, in the wall. And the physical remains were excreted, excreted. So expulsados, segregados. So their life still sticks stubbornly to my insides. Oh, they were stubbornly, you know, like, no se quieren ir, son necios, inside of her. So she still feel that they were alive, something was inside of her. 
and um well you know that's one dream oh yeah it's those are the you know the people they are in the same room with the school girl and her mother presumably fed up with all the commotion had turned off the television and lights and a little ahead of time and drawn their curtains oh because you know the mom and you know John he they are you know like fighting and having the scene and the mom is crying and the other the, and the other uh two they are here so it says when I, I eventually succeeded in falling asleep I had a dream in the dream I was killing someone I just I thrust a knife into their stomach with all my strength then reach into the wound and wrench out the long coil intestines like eating fish I peel off all the squishy flesh and muscle and left only the bones but in every instant i woke up i ceased to remember who it was that i i had killed so you know the guy is also having weird dreams and the dream is that he stopped someone in the stomach open it and you know the intestines out call up it will be enredados en espiral and well so he knows who he killed. Then he says, it was in the early morning, still dark, driven by a strange compulsion. I pulled back the blanket covering my wife. I fumbled in the pitch black darkness, but there was no watery blood, no rip into scenes. Oh yeah, because well, fumble, fumble, it will be at the end. So it was like, oh, there's nothing, you know, because he's stabbing someone who, with that action, you know, he was stabbing her. So he just like, okay, she's okay. And it says, I could hear the other patient's sleeping breath coming into a little gas, but my wife was unnaturally silent. So while he's doing this, he says like, I listen to other people's uh, breath or breathing, but not my wife's. So it says, I felt enough trembling inside myself and reached out with my index finger to touch her philtrum. She was alive. This is a field room, guys. So it was like, in order to see if she was alive. And then it said like, oh, that's good. She's alive. When I woke up again, you know, the world was already light because they, you know, it was in the early morning when he was doing that. So, you know, as in the morning, uh, goodness, you have been sleeping. It is, you know, the other two patients and said like, hey, you, you, your wife just, you know, like left before you, before us. So it says, where did you go? Or where did she go? Sorry, like, we don't know. So he just, you know, looking for her. And it says, you could tell who was a long-term patient based on how they look, whether fatigue or gloomy or peaceful. So gloomy here, it will be sombrío. You know, because of the way they look, how do they how they look? Uh, you know, fatigue, gloomy or peaceful. That's it. So it says I drew near the fountain, which was dry. I noticed that there was some kind of commotion. You know, people around. The people gathered. They were all looking at something. I pushed my way through them until I had a clear view. He knew it. My wife was sitting on a bench by the fountain. She had removed her hospital gown, you know, lavata, and placed it on her knees, leaving her gone collarbones, em emaciated breasts, and brown nipples completely exposed. Also, you know, like, no clothes. She was not naked, probably, but she was, you know, like, bird chest. And then it says... Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. The bandage had been unwound from her left wrist. And the blood that was leaking out seemed to be slowly leaking at the, sat the satur area. Some beams bat her face and a naked body. Oh, see, she's naked. And she doesn't have a bandage, so she's bleeding again. So bleed and naked. Just imagine that scene. And it says, how long has she been sitting there like that? With grief, she looks like she's come from the psychiatric ward this young woman so people is you know like chatting is discussing they are whispering and it says um oh uh, while you know the guy is getting close the, the the doctors and everything is just you know like running so it says i thought to myself i don't know 
I do not know that woman. And it was true. It was not a lie. Nevertheless, and compel my responsibility that refused to be sure, shrink, shirk, sorry. My legs carry me towards her, a movement that I could not for the life of my control. Darling, what are you doing? So, you know, like he come close, like, are you okay? No baby, but darling. And very calm, very easy. And says like, it's hot. That's why I don't have my clothes on. And he's like, okay. And it's hot, so I just go undress. She raised her left hand to shield her forehead from the streaming sunlight, you know, like this. And it says, have I done something wrong? I prize open her clenched right hand, bird. Um, one second. Okay, sorry, I was, you know, like making up my own, sorry. <laughs> well, you know, like, yes, she's naked. Then the husband just arrived and asked her, like, what are you doing here? And what time do you have your clothes on? And she's like, oh, it's very hot. But, you know, she she has something like this. First of all, her, her you know, her wounds. And then it says that revealing something in her, in her hands, a price open uh her clenched right hand oh okay so this one it was like oh it's it's hot but in this one she was like this this is clench you know apretada you know so it says here a bird which will have been crushed in her grip so which had been crushed you know aplastado in her grip agarre grip is a you know like agarre tumble and tumble it is um abatido derivado you know it's that to the bench so it was a small white eye bird with feathers missing here and there below tooth marks that looked to have been caused by a predator's bite vivid red blood stain were spreading oh i didn't remember this detail so you know like my 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 mind just blocked it <laughs> because you know with her hand is just like doing this and with this is this, but the bird, the bird is, you know, like dead and it looks with some marks. So probably, you know, like she bite it and that's it. That's the end of the chapter guys. So let's just see if you know the next chapter continues with the same story or it's another one. It has another name, Mongolian Mark. So let's see what happened next session. For the moment, that would be it. Continue having an excellent reading. And I will see you soon, guys. Thank you so much.